Hmm. Let's become a little less angry. You attend services in the Castle Grove, letting the peace of the ritual calm your heart. But I'm still willful. Excellent. And we are not quite maxed out, so let's do that. <clears throat> the Queen of Sangia is wedded to a non-noble, a court musician whom she initially took as a consort, barring any offspring from inheriting the throne. She has since passed new laws that not only give their children, but also the man himself an equal claim to the throne. Rumor has it that the king of Sangia has become the true power behind the throne and that he may also have the powers of a lumen. He is a controversial figure within the domain, but the ministers who speak against him have been known to disappear. Oh, and we've maxed out, maxed out foreign intelligence. Excellent. You study the effect of cannons against coastal installations, such as enemy docks and seaside villages. You study the difficulty of a sneak attack at sea and ways that it can be achieved. And we've maxed them out. It's naval strategy out as well. Are you ready for the grand ball? All the nobles in the domain are here to see you, to see their queen. Gulp! You finish dressing and descend the stairs to make a grand entrance. All around, the rich and powerful pause in their activities to gaze upon you, the ruler of them all. Seeing yourself reflected in so many eyes makes you want to run away and hide. After a moment, you force yourself to carry on, but you're sure they've all seen you hesitate. Your father waits for you at the bottom of the stairs and offers you his arm. The first dance is for us. He guides you gently around the dance floor, never rushing you. It's fun to dance with your father, but the look in his eyes is so sad. I believe the next turn is mine. He bows gracefully and offers you his hand, then leans close to whisper a quick question. Do you know how to dance? Nod or shake your head. I know how to dance, right? I had dance. You dip your head in acknowledgement. Dancing with a real partner feels quite different from dancing with your father. You knew him, knew his steps like a part of you. Now every move is a mystery. Oh, I failed. Oops. Unfortunately, you lose track of which steps you're supposed to do when and trip over your own feet. Oops! Between the dances, there is time for the guests to mingle, chat, and sample tiny bits, tiny bites of exquisite food. During a lull in the music, Banyan, the Duke of Marie, taps an elegant fingernail against the wine glass, letting the clear note ring out through the room. If I might have your attention. I believe we should offer our compliments to our lovely hostess. Her bravery and courage keep our borders defended. Everyone applauds politely. As the gala continues, you take the opportunity to observe nobles that you rarely see. There's Gwinnell, for instance, the young lady of Sudbury, only months older than you and due to finally inherit control of her duchy soon. Or Adele, the youngest daughter of the Duchess of Lila, <clears throat> and a fierce sportswoman. She was a few years ahead of you at school in the absolute terror of the ball fields. No Brienne. She had said that her parents were leaving her stuck at school for the season. Her parents are, dancing together, are here, dancing together, the Duke consort clutching his duchess possessively tight. Strange that there's no, signs of, no sign of your cousins, though. Shouldn't they be here? Your aunt and uncle are here, of course. It would be scandalous if they hadn't come, Merva being so close by. It's nice to be able to enjoy time with friends and family, isn't it? As the evening grows late, your personal guest draws you aside for a private conversation. You have my most fulsome thanks for the invitation to this event. However, you might wish to spend more time with the scribes before corresponding and writing with, the no with other nobles. Some may not appreciate your unique sense of phrasing. Wonderful. I sounded like an idiot. It is always the greatest of pleasures for me to be in your presence. I look forward to the day when we will no longer have to part. He seems uber sketchy. Oh well, let's sneak out again. All right, skills. Now we will do internal affairs and strategy. All right. The Duke of Marie has paid suit to the Duchess of Ursel to no avail. The Duchess's brother is opposed, as he will inherit if she dies childless. Your agents suspect the Duchess of Ursel is actually more interest in the, interested in the Duchess of Halas. Neither has ever been linked to a man. Countess Leek of Dis married the old Duke of Sudbury, who was more than twice her age, then divorced him as soon as she bore him an heir in order to marry another. It was considered shockingly rude by the general nobility, but the old Duke apparently had no objection. You learn how units reinforce each other in the field, gaining strength through proximity and the covering of weaknesses. You study the effects of different kinds of battle terrain for both offense and defense. I can now tour the barracks on the weekends. Okay. You wander downstairs to visit your father and talk about the latest events in the domain. You're moving with such enthusiasm that you don't realize your father isn't alone until it's too late to avoid him and his companion. You are too kind, Jaslyn. Countess Seren, not a member of your circle, she's a bit more than a decade your senior, far too old to have ever been your friend, and yet, not at all old, as a noblewoman go. She has two minor titles, no husband, and your father's arm in her grasp. How dare she make a move on your father? Hmm. Shame her with- nah, let's trip her. 
You wait until the countess gets closer, then hook your foot around to make her stumble. Unfortunately, you get your feet tangled up and end up tripping yourself, falling to the ground with a thud. Elodie, are you all right? Oh dear, she does need a bit of looking after, doesn't she? Not by you. I should go now. I hope to see more of you later. When she's gone, you raise an eyebrow at your father. This is the path that you have set us on. What do you mean? Your acts have made everyone think about preparations for the future. Caloris needs an heir. My brother, your uncle Armand, is looking for a wife as well. One of us, at least, must produce more children. But, Mama, nothing can ever replace your mother. But we all have to do things that we don't want to do. You should be careful how you deal with people like Siren. You need the goodwill of your nobles as well as your commoners. There haven't been any problems so far. As queen, you must be aware of everything around you. Isn't that what I have agents for? Yes, but you must give them direction. What is your greatest concern? Hmm. Noble plots. I need to know what the other nobles are up to and whether anyone is plotting behind my back. As you wish. All right, let's talk to the countess or the duchess. You have not yet reached the crystal. Are you making progress or is it time for another plan? That would probably be the drastic action she mentioned earlier. Let's take it. I suppose I'll have to listen to another plan. Leave it to me. Fine. That night, an explosion rocks the castle. A section of stone near the royal treasury collapses, crushing the guards on duty. Nothing is stolen, at least nothing that is acknowledged publicly. But when you look at your father's face, you can see it in his eyes. The crystal is gone. He knows that you are to blame. He will never, tr he will never trust you the same way again. And... Yep, we'll keep doing the same. Oh boy. The Countess of Dis is now married to the disinherited third sibling of the Duke of Marie and the Duchess of Halas. Currently, both Duke and Duchess are unwed. If either dies without an heir, a title may still pass to the Countess's husband. Several generations back, the rulers of Alath and Sedna and a neighboring Telassi married. The citizens of Alath objected to this foreign influence, and with the resulting heir, di and the resulting heir died in suspicious circumstances, after which the title was passed to a distant branch of the family rather than another child of the Alath-Sedna union. There were many dark rumors about the second husband of the Duchess of Lila, perhaps because he was a commoner. It was whispered that he once assaulted the young Duchess of Alath before her untimely marriage and demise. After years of marriage and three children, the Duchess of Lila divorced her second husband and refused to say why. Shortly afterwards, he was found dead in a nearby forest. The Duchess of Lila and her son, the Earl of Io, have been estranged ever since. The Earl of Io now lives with his sister, the Duchess of Mead. You study the power of ranged weapons, from arrows to thrown fire and sand, and how the threat of such attacks can shift the enemy's response. You study the use of cavalry in battle, as well as the costs and benefits of traveling with large animals. You study the effects of a strong hierarchy on military organization, and the ability of troops to respond to changing situations. Communication across an army can be difficult, disrupted signals can lead to chaos. You study famous battles, the disasters and the mistakes which created them, and the turning points in larger conflicts, and why they make a difference. <clears throat> it is the time of year to decide any necessary adjustments to the royal budget. The majority of the money we receive already is spoken for, but there is always some room for discretion. I don't know anything about budgets. Hmm, let's raise taxes. We need more money. Raise the taxes a bit, as you wish. All right, let's talk to Juliana again. Do you have it? You do have it, don't you? The crystal? Of course. Everything is ready for you. Right. Did you really have to kill the guards? If you regret their sacrifice, then do not let it go to waste. It's too late to turn back now. I have to do the best I can for my people. What do I do? Pick up the crystal with your bare hands, press it against your chest, over your heart, and say, illuminate. Okay, here we go. Illuminate. Oh, wow. That's pretty. You feel dizzy and both larger and lighter than you were before. The crystal has disappeared from view, but you know where it is. Wow. The priestess here is a friend of mine. I will come to your lessons in the faith and train you to use your powers. I should feel happy, I guess. I'm a lumen now. I just hope I'm doing the right thing. All right. So now we have unlocked lumen, so I can start doing lumen. So I'm going to finish internal affairs and start sense magic, and then we'll go strategy and continue on from there. <coughs> All right. So we'll finish internal affairs, but let's do some sense magic. All right. After the last Duke of Mead went into seclusion, he hired a stream of attractive young servants who had to be frequently replaced after injuries and accidents. He eventually died from f by falling from a high tower window, which his family covered up. Was it suicide they were hiding, or murder? Yay, nothing more but a turtle affairs. You close your eyes and learn to feel the magic inside you. Well, that was boring. 
You are requested to stand in judgment. A man has been convicted of the murder by strangling of his wife. He does not deny the act, but requests a pardon that he might be set free. If you admit you killed your wife, why do you think I'm going to set you free? Save me, Your Majesty. It wasn't my fault. Demons made me do it. Everyone knows the power of magical beasties. They used me. They twisted my fingers into chains. My wife found me screaming. She tried to shake me, and the chains wrapped around her. I need the priestesses to bless me and make me clean again. Demons that are to make you attack people. Is that even possible? Uh, let's execute them. I don't care whether they're with demons or not. You're still a murderer, and your life is forfeit. You'll be hanged in public as a deterrent to future criminals. He opens his mouth to argue with you further, but then his shoulders slump. Yes, Your Majesty. All right. Um. Let's play with some toys. You spend the weekend holed up alone in your room with your favorite toys. It's childish, but you feel a bit better. All right. So now I will do strategy and sense magic again. Practice using small amounts of magic and feeling that power in the outside of yourself. Your mentor summons up magical energies to strike the nearby ground so you can learn to sense someone else's spells in use. You receive word of an unfortunate incident at the gallows where the man you judged was sent to be executed. As he was led to the platform, he suddenly lashed out with explosive magical man power, killing several guards and spectators before making his escape. The population is buzzing with rumors of a secret cabal of evil lumens who sacrifice innocents in their dark rituals. <laughs> 